Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about the palindrome date program. We wrote the program to check whether enter date is palindrome or not. And today we'll write the program to print next palindrome date of given date. So today we'll ask the user to enter the date. So we'll take the date in DDMM YY format. If you want in the different format, you can modify this program. Next, we'll check whether the date is valid or not. If the date is valid, then we'll check whether that date is palindrome or not. If yes, it is palindrome, then we'll stop the execution of the program. Okay, we'll print that date is palindrome and we'll stop the execution of the program. If the given date is not palindrome, then we'll print the next palindrome date. So it will search for the next palindrome date and it will print that. Okay, so let's begin with the program. We already discussed about the valid date program and the palindrome program, how to check a date is palindrome or not. So we'll use all this concept in our program. So I will give you the link of these videos in the description box. So first we need to take the date from the user. Okay, so this is the previous program. We wrote this program to check whether date is palindrome or not. So here also we took the date in the DDMMYY format. So I'll copy this. Okay, so we want the day, month, year. We'll ask the user to enter it separately and we want integer inputs. So I took int function here. As we know in Python 3 by default, this input function will take input as string, but here we want integer. That's why I took int function here. So I'll ask the user to enter day, month and year in this format. So next we need to check whether enter date is valid or not. For that first we need to find out the maximum number of days present in the given month. So for that we need to use if elif condition. So we need to check this in which month we want 31 days, in which month we want 30 days and in February when it is leap year we need 29 days otherwise we need 28 days. We already discussed about this in the previous video when we wrote the program to check the enter date is valid or not. So I will give you the link of that in the description box. You can go and check that for the detailed explanation. Here we just wrote the month which contains 31 days here and 30 days here. And here we wrote the condition for leap year. So when it is true, so maximum days in February is 29 days, otherwise 28 days. So now what I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll use this piece of code in my program. But here I'll write this code in a function. I'll take a function and I'll place this code here. And you need to intend it correctly. So here I need to take the parameter as month and year. Okay, because here we used month and year. That's why I need to take month and year. And I change the variable name as max days one. You can take any name. And next here I'll return the maximum days. I took this if elif condition. I'll check whether month is one or three or five or seven, 10, 12. Then maximum days is 31. Otherwise it is 30. Otherwise it is 29. Otherwise it is 28. Okay. And I will return that maximum days from this function. Okay. So return maximum days. Here I took function name as function. You can take any name. So this function is to find out the maximum number of days present in the given month. We already discussed about this conditions in the previous video. Here I am taking this condition in a function and I change the variable name as max days one and I am returning this max days one from this function. That's it. Next. You may ask, in the previous program, we didn't use any function. We directly wrote the condition. Now, what is the need of using function in our program? Here we used function because of two reasons. One is for clean representation of the program. Second one is, next we will use while loop because in this program, we'll ask the user to enter the date. If that date is valid, then we'll check whether that date is palindrome or not. If not, then we need to take another date that is the very next date of given date and we need to check that date is valid or not. Next, we need to check that date is palindrome or not. 
okay here when we take next date we need to again go to here and we need to check whether that is valid date next i need to check whether that is palindrome if not then i need to take next date and i need to do this thing again until i'll get the palindrome date okay that's why i'm taking a loop and in the while loop we may get too many if else condition and it won't look good that's why i took this piece of code in a function so here next i'll take while loop and i'll take the condition as true okay so i explained you why i'm taking loop here i'm taking while loop and i am taking condition as true that means condition is always true so it will execute this while loop body continuously so that means the while loop become infinite so don't worry about that we'll take the break statement in the while body when break statement executes it will come out of the while loop okay so i took the condition as true here so it will execute the while loop body until that break statement will execute so we'll see that later this is the function definition right so when we take user input that is the date first we need to check whether that date is valid or not so for that we need maximum days so this is just a definition so we need to call that function to get the maximum days in the given month so for that i'll take variable name as maximum days and i'll call this function and i'll pass month and year so here i'm calling this function so control goes to this function call and it will execute that and it will give maximum days in a given month and it will return that result okay maximum days and that will be stored in this variable maximum days after getting maximum days we need to check the valid and invalid date right so for that in the previous program we wrote these conditions if else if condition if month is less than 1 month is greater than 12 then it is invalid first we wrote the invalid conditions and in the else part we wrote the condition as date is valid and we checked for the palindrome date today i will do the same thing we'll uh, write the code in the different way that is nothing but here we checked for the invalid case first next if this condition become fails then in the else part we wrote enter date is valid but here today i'm not doing this we will directly write the valid conditions if the condition satisfies then only ex execute for the code otherwise stop okay so that is nothing but here i'll check if day is greater than 0 so i'll write the condition like this that is first day day should be greater than 0 and it should be less than or equal to maximum days so whatever day will enter should be greater than 0 and it should be less than or equal to maximum days it should not be greater than maximum days right the first condition and in month month also should be greater than 0 and it should be less than 13 it should be between 0 to 12 range okay that's why i wrote the condition like this this is the valid conditions so here we used logical and operator so that means if both the condition is true then only it will execute the if body if any one of this condition is false it won't execute the if body that means that is invalid date so when we are checking for the date we'll mainly consider day and month right day should be in between 0 and the maximum number of days that is it may be 30 for some months 31 for some months for february leap year it is 29 and february non leap year it is 28 days okay maximum days that will calculate from here and month also it should be from 0 to 12 it can't be greater than that or less than that okay after that we'll check for the palindrome date i'll copy this code so if this is true then i'll check for the day month and year and uh, indent it correctly okay like this so this is the code to check whether uh, date is uh, palindrome or not this we discussed about the previous tutorial so i will give the link of that in the description box i copied from that i copied from here this program okay so here we wrote the condition for year but we are not including that in our today's program so here we took the function to calculate the maximum number of days in the month next we'll check for the valid date condition and if it is true then we will convert the day month and year to string and we'll find out the reverse of that and we'll 
see whether date is palindrome or not if date is palindrome nothing to worry okay you can just print date is palindrome so you can take day month year like this you can print like this and date is palindrome if it is not okay date is not palindrome then we need to check for the next date right so you need to increment day by one if day becomes greater than the max days if day becomes greater than max days when i increment it by one if it becomes greater than max days then i need to take day as one i need to increment month by one and I need to check whether month is greater than 12. If S, yes, then I need to take month is equal to 1 and I need to increment year by 1. So that is nothing but if the given date is not palindrome, then I need to increment day by 1 first. Next, I need to check whether day is greater than maximum days. For example, if uh, we are taking the January month, if the given day is 31 if i do 31 plus 1 it will become 32 it is greater than maximum days right that time i need to take day as 1 and i need to increment month by 1 right that is the starting of next month that's why i need to increment month by 1 and uh, initialize day as 1 if month becomes greater than 12 then reassign month as 1 and increment year by 1 so when we will get date as palindrome we need to stop the execution of program so we need to take break statement here as i said we took while true condition right the true means it is always true so it will execute while loop body continuously until this break statement will execute when break statement will execute it will come out of the loop okay so we are done with the program now so we'll enter date 2102 2012 so it is a palindrome date so it will print the date is palindrome and it will stop the execution of the program if i take another date like 2202 and 2002 okay so that date is not palindrome so it will print the next immediate palindrome date that is 1 2 2010 so this is the next palindrome date in ddmm yyy format so to improve that uh, print function you can do one thing you can take count equal to zero a variable and here you can check when given date equal to reverse date you can check whether count is equal to equal to zero that is nothing but if the given date itself is uh, palindrome then we just need to print the date is palindrome right else if given date is not palindrome if i want to print the next palindrome date then you can print you can take else condition and you can print is the next palindrome date so i took a variable called count equal to zero that is because here if you enter a date which is palindrome then it will print this message if the enter date is not palindrome then it will check for the next palindrome date then it will print this message here you need to take count is equal to count plus one in the else part so if i save this and run this if i execute this now okay 2 to 20 is the next palindrome date okay so i took count just to print this two different print statement okay when we are uh, find out in the next palindrome date then i'll increment the count by one okay that's why it will print this part else part and one more thing when we'll check for the valid date condition that is day should be in range 0 to max days and month should be in between 0 and 12 if this condition becomes true then we'll convert our date to string and we'll find out that is palindrome or not if that is not palindrome we'll find out the next palindrome date but if this condition becomes false then we should write a else part to this we can print invalid date or any other message so we need to write the else part for this if condition else i'll print invalid date 
and I need to use break statement here because this if condition and else condition comes under this while loop and if I didn't mention that break statement it will execute this else part again and again. So once when we get the enter date is invalid no need to check for anything else we can just print invalid date and come out of the loop. So now if I save this and run this if I enter any invalid date if I enter month as 14 it will print invalid date and it will stop the execution of the program. I know this program is very lengthy so I will give the program in the description box you can go and check that. Okay so this is about this program. That's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.